So there's no wrong way to do art. Hey guys, so this is going to be a three-part video series. The first video I'm going to talk about art and being free and self-expression and self-growth and all of those things that come along with being an artist. Art is something that's very freeing. It can be, you can be like a professional working artist where you like really want to get into galleries and shows and exhibit and teach and all of those things. Or you can be an artist who or is a hobby and you play and you experiment and just have fun. I think that artists need a lot of freedom and play and time to ourselves to process and create things on a daily basis. And so I think art is very much something that you can just do. Like you don't have to be an artist. You don't have to go to school. You don't have to learn certain things. You can just make art. In fact, I did a video with my niece a while back. It's the art is play video. And I'm not sure what the name will be when I have it up. I, was, I kept telling her throughout the, the day and like I didn't have all the footage in the video, but I was like, it doesn't matter if you're good. It doesn't matter if you know how to use glitter art to paint or glitter glue to paint with. Like nobody knows that. Just play, just have fun. Just put it on the paper, experiment. If it doesn't work, you can use a tool, use your finger, use a Q-tip, you can use the end of the bottle, you can dot things, you can do whatever you want, just play. Just have fun and, and go for it. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. Like, I think more people should be like kids where they're just like, okay, yeah, you're right, I can play. And then they go for it, they do it, they just make stuff. I think that's great. So yeah, art is play, art is self-expression, art is self-growth, art is so many things. I've noticed a lot of kids have this idea that they're not good at art. Pretty early on, like they, they, they're like, I don't know how to do art, I can't do it. And from teaching, I've also found that there are parents that like want the kid to make like a perfect person or draw a perfect something or like have those like super high expectations for kids about like, like the quality of production that needs to be when they're like five and 10 years old. And I think that is detrimental to the arts and like it's detrimental to young artists as well. Like if they want to be artists, we need to foster that environment, like help them, encourage them, teach them that there's no wrong way to do art. Like you can have fun, you can do whatever you want. Like their art is not defined by a set of rules. It's not, it's it's play, it's fun, it's learning, it's growing in your, your confidence, it's growing in your skill set. It's all these different things. Like it's it's not about making a perfect landscape or painting a perfect picture or making something photorealistic or being able to do this or that or whatever. And there's plenty of artists out there that are great examples of that, like Jackson Pollock. Not everybody likes him, but he is a talented artist. Like he had fun, he played, and he showed that aspect of art. One thing I really like to do is just spend time playing and making like anything. And then like, I'll end up maybe not keeping it all or like it might not be something that I show in a gallery space, but it it is play. It's it's growth. It's experimenting. It's fun. It's learning. And I think there needs to be more of that in the art world. So I'm going to encourage you guys to just go play. Go do something fun. Make some art. If you have a stick and you're in the woods or a stick in your backyard, draw in the dirt. If you are at a table and you have salt, spill a little salt on your plate and like make a drawing in the salt. Just play around. Be creative. Be unique. Don't worry about it being something that is beautiful and wonderful and perfect and looks like a representational painting of something. But I really want to encourage you guys to just keep playing, keep making art, and just keep doing it. There's really no wrong way to do art. There's no such thing as bad art. There's no, like, there's no wrong way to make art. So go play, go experiment, get a journal, have a sketchbook. Even, I just draw on my hands, so I have writing on my hands right now. Like, go play. There's no wrong way to do art. This is a three-part series I'm going to do. So this is the first one. There aren't rules. Play, have fun, do whatever you want. I make videos every week, so be sure to subscribe. I do art, travel, and culture videos every week. I try to show you what's going on in my studio and answer your questions about the arts. I, um, a lot of my art is based on travel and culture, and I am a nerd about traveling and culture and languages and such things, and so my art reflects that, and my videos are a combination of those things. So subscribe for weekly videos, and I will see you guys around.